Hey and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. In this video, you'll learn all about different Doodly background types. Please click the like and subscribe button below. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we release free trainings. And if you have any questions about what we cover, leave a comment and the awesome Doodly community would love to help. Thanks for watching, now let's get straight to the training. Welcome to Doodly. You might know that Doodly makes it really easy to create whiteboard videos, but did you know whiteboard isn't the only option with Doodly? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the different types of backgrounds that you can use in your Doodly videos. So I have a short video I'm going to show you of the different board types. First is your basic whiteboard, which you're probably familiar with. Next up, we have the glass board, and you'll notice that the hand is on the other side of the glass. Here we have a blackboard, so it's a chalkboard. Similarly, we have a green board. You can also choose a custom color for your background. I've selected blue. As well as upload individual images for a custom background image. You'll initially choose your background type when you create the video, but you're not stuck with it. So if you started by choosing the whiteboard background, the default whiteboard, no worries, you can change that at any time. When you first create a new video, you're immediately prompted to select a background. So you can, if you know what you want, pick it now. If you don't know, then you'll pick it later. Right now, I'm going to go for just whiteboard, just so I can show you how it works. So let's put something in our scene. I'm going to go ahead and just type something in here. So that's your basic whiteboard. If we hit preview, you'll see the hand in front doing its drawing. Now, what if we wanted to change it? Well, we can do that. We can go over here to settings and we just simply change it. So we want to do a dark chalkboard. We click it, say OK, and it changes it. It also inverts the text and the colors so that it's, instead of being black on white, it's now white on black. If I want to change it again, let's say to glass board, I just simply select it. And now it's back to black on white, except for this white is actually clear, it's glass. As you'll see when I hit preview, the hand is behind the glass. Now there are two types of custom backgrounds you can do. So if we go here and choose custom, the first one is custom color and you'll notice there's an arrow down here right next to it. You can also choose custom image. We'll start with custom color. Click the color swatch here and choose your color. You can use the color picker to fine tune the color that you choose as well. Click apply, and you now have a custom color background. Once again, if we want to do the image background, go to settings, custom, and instead of custom color, hit custom image. Now browse your computer for an, a background image that you'd like to use. You can position and resize. What's, how it's going to appear on your screen. Just be doing that. In this case, I have transparency here on both edges, so I want to be really careful not to have the transparency, so then it'll just cut it off. And I think this will look nice, so I'm going to go ahead and click Done and Apply. And that's the basics for the doodly background types. In a future video, we'll go over how to change these scene by scene, as well as change the hand styles. Thanks for watching. 